Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best British musicals. You, bunny lad, are getting your 50p's worth whether you like it or not. And before too long, you're playing a song, and everybody around is humming. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most spectacular homegrown musicals of all time. Which British musical is at the top of your bucket list? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10 Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Bright color shine. This musical started as a 15-minute pop cantata to be performed in a school. Initially, Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice planned for a 007-esque storyline before remembering this biblical tale from the Book of Genesis. It finally became the full-length musical we know and love today in 1974, premiering at Leicester's Haymarket Theatre. If my life were important, I would ask. Countless famous faces have donned the colourful coats, including David Cassidy, Andy Gibb, Jason Donovan, Philip Schofield, and Danny Osmond, to name just a few. Today, it's a favourite both in schools and professional theatre, and we still can't hear any dream will do without joining in with the ah ahs. I closed my eyes, drew back the curtain. Number 9, Half a Sixpence. Based on Kibbs, the 1905 novel written by H.G. Wells, Arthur Kibbs is an overworked draper's assistant who suddenly and unexpectedly inherits a large fortune. Pick out a simple tune. Pick out a simple tune, star strumming. He must now learn to adjust to high society, but ultimately learns the lesson that money can't buy happiness. The original production starred British pop singer Tommy Steele as Kips and featured memorable tunes like the title song and Flashbang Wallop. A revised version of the show was revived at the Chinchester Festival in 2016. <laughs> It was a critical success and a huge hit with audiences too. Its subsequent West End run was extended twice due to popular demand. Number 8, Everybody's Talking About Jamie. I'm a superstar and you don't even know it. In a wonder bra and you don't even know it. You're so blah blah and you don't even know it. I'm like au revoir and you don't even know it. When Jamie Campbell became the subject of a BBC3 documentary in 2012, little did he know that one day his story would inspire a West End musical. The documentary and musical chronicles Jamie's struggle for acceptance and the obstacles he faced when he wanted to attend his school's prom in drag. With a stellar soundtrack and a message of tolerance, acceptance, and making this world a place where we belong, it's no surprise that it's so popular. The movie is set for an autumn 2021 release, and there are even talks of a Broadway transfer. It might be a British story, but its message is universal. Number 7. Matilda the Musical From its humble beginnings in Stratford-upon-Avon, this musical based on Roald Dahl's famous book of the same name has taken the world by storm. Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. Just in case you're not familiar with the story, Matilda is a young, intelligent bookworm who uses her sharp wit, kindness, and telekinetic powers to overcome whatever life throws her way. With a book by Dennis Kelly and music by Tim Minchin, this Royal Shakespeare Company production has picked up a whopping 99 international awards, including 24 for Best Musical. In 2012, it scooped up seven Olivia Awards, 
breaking the record at the time for most wins by a single show. Number 6. Six. Listen up, let me tell you a story. A story that you think you've heard before. We all know the rhyme about Henry VIII's wives, but this musical remixes her story as we know it. Presented as a pop concert, Henry's exes each share their side of the story in a bid to become the lead singer of their group. Cambridge students Toby Marlowe and Lucy Moss initially wrote the musical for the Edinburgh Fringe. I'm a survivor, Catherine Parr. I bet you want to know how we got this far. However, the show quickly gained momentum and soon reigned across the UK and later the US too. The queens are modelled after well-known singers such as Beyonce, Britney Spears and Alicia Keys. Every song is a banger that makes us want to get down as well. Number 5. Mamma Mia! Today, Mamma Mia! is an international success that even spurred two movies. Oh, oh. However, it was British producer Judy Kramer who came up with the idea of turning ABBA's greatest hits into a musical. Sophie finds her mum's diary and sends out wedding invitations to three men who could potentially be her father. And ABBA's music is interwoven into the narrative. As of 2020, it's the seventh longest running West End show. It's also been performed in more than 40 countries, spanning five continents. This show is the perfect amount of cheesy and the ultimate feel-good musical. Talk about having the time of your life. Number 4. Oliver Lionel Bart gave this classic Charles Dickens novel the musical makeover. We follow Oliver, an orphan who befriends Fagin and the boys after getting kicked out of a workhouse for having the audacity to ask for seconds. I'd do anything for you, dear, anything. Interestingly, Lionel Bart didn't actually know how to read or write music, so instead would record himself singing or humming the melodies. Yet, we still got so many amazing numbers such as Food Glorious Food, Consider Yourself, As Long As He Needs Me, and the list goes on. Oliver was Bart's one and only success, but it performed to great acclaim on both sides of the pond. <laughs> Number 3. Blood Brothers Fun fact, Blood Brothers was originally developed to be performed in schools. However, it received its professional debut in Liverpool before transferring to London where it won the Olivia for Best New Musical. Written by Willie Russell, the story revolves around separated at birth twins who, despite their polar opposite upbringings, become friends. Although it all ends in tragedy. It was revived in 1991 and became the third longest running musical in the West End, with over 10,000 performances by the time it closed in 2012. In fact, it was so well loved that it was given the endearing nickname of the Standing Ovation Musical. Number 2. The Phantom of the Opera I am your angel of music Come to me, angel of music The opening chords to the title track are so iconic that you'd be hard-pressed to find a place in the world where it isn't instantly recognisable. Composed by Andrew Lloyd Webber, this musical is an adaptation of Gaston Leroux's novel of the same name. It tells the tale of the Paris Opera House Phantom and the very talented soprano Christine Day, with whom he becomes obsessed. Since the moment I first heard you sing, 
I have needed you with me. This homegrown phenomena has won more than 70 awards and has been seen by more than 140 million people worldwide. It's a staple of the West End and currently holds the record for the second longest running musical. Let's see, Monsieur, how far you dare go! That's right, that's right, keep walking this way! Number one, Billy Elliot, the musical. Everybody ready for the big number? And smile, smile. Sir Elton John was such a fan of the 2000 movie that he instantly agreed to write the songs for this musical. This gritty story about a northern lad who defies societal expectations to pursue his passion for ballet has since captured the hearts of anyone who's seen it. Try this! Set in a northern English mining town during the miners' strike of 1984, the musical stood out for challenging gender norms and empowering the working class. The show won four Olivia Awards, including Best New Musical. The accolades didn't stop there either, as it's collected a total of 80 awards around the world. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.